Okay, let's just take a quick look at what the what's happening on the market front, right? Like I was saying, Nifty is not managing to hold on to anything exciting. But uh, we have Nifty 500. Let's look at what's that's happening because the broader end of the market, that is managing to hold on to gains. So let's pull up uh, some of the names that we're seeing coming in today. Kirloskar Oil Engines, that's holding on to 7% gains. I believe that reported their numbers also. As of now, we have Global Health that has come out with their numbers. Let's pull that up because it seems like it's perked up in trade. EBITDA on an overall basis, value basis is up 4%. We've seen revenue see a growth. And look at the spike up that we've seen in the stock because it was uh, trading in the red and now it has moved on to the green. Margins a bit under pressure. But let's move on and get you some more updates coming in from uh, the Global Leadership Summit of CNBC TV 18. We have Mangalam joining with us all the way from there. Mangalam, good afternoon. What is happening over there? You've been here since the get-go, since there. What is all the update that you're getting there? All right, you know, just before the star studded panel gets underway at the Global Leadership Summit, we've uh, managed to catch a couple of gentlemen before they grab their lunch and get onto this stage. We have Ridham Desai with us and we have Piyush Pandey as well. Now, you would say, why do you have a finance man with an ad man together? I think the finance man will tell us when the earnings will come back and the ad man will tell us how brands will bring their volume growth back as well. And of course, we have Nigel with us too. Nigel. Chartbusters gets down on the ground with the big people. Well, uh, you know, Manglam, uh, I've been getting so many messages about what about the markets, how are things uh, moving, and actually, because we're at the summit, I've not really had a look. But I promised all the viewers that I'm going to get you the main market man to help us with how are things shaping up. Well, Rhythm, you go first. Tell us, you know, how do you see things shaping up? We've seen this 10% correction. Manglam has been telling us every, on a day-to-day -day basis, that there is a slowdown in X sector, the urban slowdown is there as well. Is bulk of that in the price, the earnings miss, the slowdown that we're talking about post this 11% correction? Okay, so I'll break this up into two parts. Uh, so the slowdown is over. That's historical news. That's not prospective. In the month of October, the government drew down its cash balance with the central bank from 3.5 lakh crores to 98,000 crores. So which means that over and above the GST that it collected, it spent 2.5 lakh crores. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in a couple of weeks, all the companies are going to say, oh, my business is looking good now. Because Indeed. that's a lot of money to have been spent in 30 days. It's unprecedented, actually. I don't remember the government spending so much money in a 30-day time frame. On top of that, and I think he knows this better, and Piyush will know it even better, we're entering into an unprecedented wedding season. Indeed. Right? 35% growth coming, and Indians spend a lot of money. So I actually think this quarter is going to be blockbuster for earnings. And October is behind us, that is in the price, that's done. Okay? That said, we have a big event risk on 23rd of November. Okay? The elections. Uh, and if the elections produce a result that the market doesn't like, mm -hmm. then it will cause pain. And then I don't know if yesterday's low was the bottom or not. But if that election result is palatable to the market, then I think yesterday's low was probably kind of where we should have bottomed. Okay. I mean, it doesn't mean that stock prices can't fall, but I think more or less, at least individual stocks, I think, have done their jig. Well, uh, that's that's pretty good news. If you're saying that things are going to look up from here and wedding season and Manglam has been bringing us not too good news, but I've tried, but trust me, there's, gentlemen. There's one, there's one risk that we must keep in the horizon is on 21st of Jan, when the president comes in, the new president of the U.S., uh, he will have a slew of policy uh, announcements. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the worries that I have is a universal tariff. That's not directly going to affect India in a, in a dramatic negative way, but it could have an impact on the world at large, which could then leave us with slow growth in 2025. And I'm not sure that's fully baked into share prices. But will India perform relatively better, you know, in, in this sort does, of a context? <laughs> does any of your viewers... <laughs> Is anybody actually concerned about it, right? Because ultimately, you have to take absolute returns home. What do you do with relative returns, right? So, yeah, relatively, India will do very well. But if everything is going to go down, India can't be going up. Well, so, Manglam, Rhythms highlighted some of those yeah. pain points, but he's saying things will look up from here on, which is good news. Which is absolutely good news. The important part is that all those pain points that he highlighted, Piyush speaks on a real-time basis. To consumer companies, he knows what the ad sales were during the festive season. And more importantly, he spoke about the November 23rd event. I'm not going to take names, but Piyush has been dialing the phones of all the powers that be across all parties. So if you want an election update as well, he has it right here. Piyush, so two questions. One, consumption mahol or election mahol? Both of them. 
I just when I start loving him, he gives you another picture in 20 days time. Then I say, what is he talking about? Then he gets you to love him more. Then he brings it down. <laughs> it's like a cricket match happening. It will be over in five hours. Mein hoga. But coming back to what you're saying, that we are an uh, emotional nation. Even last evening, I lived near the beach in Mahim. Uh, it was Tulsi ka uh, Viva. Mm -hmm. Patake were bigger than what you see in Diwali. So whether we have money or not, we celebrate our weddings. It's the wedding time that he's talking about. Of course, it'll go up. It'll go up. I think India is a funny country. Numbers don't show you everything. There is a heart and the number which has to be matched. And I think as a finance man, he'll know uh, that sometimes your dil heart se. beats. Huh? Dil <laughs> say that time you don't see your numbers. Right. That you say, okay, my beti ki hai. I will go and spend. The rest we'll see. So it's a balance which uh, he keeps pointing it out to us. But we have got a population. He says there's one life. I'm going to celebrate it. Wonderful. So the third quarter is good. This hmm. thing about me going this way. No, I was having fun problem. With you. No, no. That is the reason is that actually equity investing is a test match. Yeah. But CNBC TV 18 is playing T20. T20 में मुझे test match के लिए. In between, in between is a series. Well, you're speaking to a former Ranji <laughs> wicketkeeper as well. But you know, uh, speaking about the political match. Uh, what do you think the power play out here is? Uh, Maharashtra elections, he says the street does not, you know, uh, there might not be a good reaction if the result is not what the street wants. I think a bit of, uh, I think it's temporary. Uh, it follows the na national bit. If it goes this way in Maharashtra or that way in Maharashtra, it will have some impact, though what he's saying. But I don't think it's going to be a long-term impact. It will only be a long-term impact if the central government and the Maharashtra government happens to be the same. That will be a positive one to my mind. Nigel. All right, uh, you know, rhythm, the other factors, and now we are looking at the test match, you know, since <laughs> I want to be on the right side of things. So you tell us, what are you making of this FI selling? You know, there was this talk that they are selling 10 billion, 12 billion. Now on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm also wondering when are they going to turn around? What, you know, is, what do you make of it? Do you think bulk of that hot money that had to move out has moved out if it is hot money indeed? So they sold 10 billion. Who bought it? <laughs> if I want to buy, <laughs> if everybody wants to buy, then who will sell? Well, I am very happy because my SIPs are going in and I think I'm getting better rates. Yeah, but what exactly. do you think? So, so see, I think first of all, let's get the technical thing. Yeah. In the market, on a, on a net basis daily, forever that I have been here, I complete 40 years next year in the stock market, net flow has always been zero. Mm. So if somebody is buying, somebody is selling, mm. right? So that's one. Now, with respect to the foreign portfolio flows, I think a lot of it has to do with the global uh, situation. In the month of October, I think the U.S. market started pricing in a Trump victory. Mm -hmm. And as I highlighted before, we're not sure about his tariff announcements. That's and what I was saying earlier. Just yeah. when I start feeling good, <laughs> he pulls out his Trump card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if those tariff announcements turn out to be adversarial, they will hurt emerging markets. So a lot of EM repositioning, I think, took place. So I would it's very hard to ascribe numbers, but I would say two-thirds of this was to do with that. A third of it was to do with the earnings uh, that were coming in, especially in the month of October, which yeah. were, you know, which were not good and uh, some of them uh, guided also poorly. But things actually have started changing in November. And I do feel that at the margin, FI outflows have stemmed. But this is a discussion point in the panel that I'm hosting. It's a question that I have for Samir. So maybe people want to dial in on what Samir has to say about this. <laughs> okay, all right. We noted that. Yeah. Just a second. What I was saying is that, you know, we have a finance man and an ad man. Here's the ad man talking numbers. And the finance man is teasing, advertising his own panel as well. So you've got to tune in on that one. It's funny bit. My finance man all these years used to say, you go and do great work, my money will come. He will say, first bring the money, then I'll give you money for doing advertising. <laughs> you know, it's a parallel that goes on. You know, so, just... Uh, but I'd love to live with them. Without them, there's no money for me to do good work. And without them having a lot of money... Uh, uh, lot of good work, no, actually, they won't have the money. Actually, let me say something on a test match basis, because yeah. he made a very important point. So, you know, you need three things to create output, to create income, to create <laughs> prosperity. Uh, you need capital, you need labor, and you need land. They're, they're called as factors of production. Right. India was always constrained on all three. Okay, we had a lot of labor, but we had skilling problems, we had labor laws. Land was always an issue. 
capital was a major issue. The one thing that has changed in the last 10 years is capital is not a problem anymore. So don't worry about it. Land there are a lot of people willing to finance you. Land and labor, we are still dealing with it, but capital <laughs> is no longer an issue. You know, there's a bit of connect with what you were saying, what I said earlier about Dil uh, is very important to our people. So the emotion and the finance will find a balance between the two. And I hope both of us win. <laughs> all right, both of you all will win and India will win as well. Just a final question to both of you all. Piyush, uh, one word of advice to consumer companies. How do they go ahead and sell their products a lot more? That is a general advice and a more specific advice to one of your best campaigns ever, which was Har Ghar Kuch Kehta Hai, Asian Pains this time around. A fair amount of competition. You know, everyone's talking about this incumbent coming in and taking away market share from the leader. What should they do? I think somebody talked about stay calm uh, today. Uh, who was it? That was Rohit Java of HUL. Uh, Again, yeah, a consumer yeah, company. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think you have to stay calm. It's like uh, when you panic, and coming back to cricket, as you said, the wicket is bad. If you go in saying, wicket is bad, wicket is bad, you're bound to get out fast. I'm saying stay calm. You will know where to hold your prices. You don't have to run and say that I'll drop my prices. You'll not be able to run your business. So my advice to everyone is you reach this far and to Asian Paints, you've reached this huge uh, distance. Many competition has come in the way, don't worry about it. Do your Put your act together. Don't worry about what the other guy is doing in his net. So hey, where were you when India was losing all those matches <laughs> against New Zealand? <laughs> we were not at all calm. We were just throwing away our wickets. <laughs> yeah, again, it's like your market. When they went down, you got very panicky. When we were winning earlier, you were jumping with joy. So these things will happen. Here, ek to samosa fail ho na beach mein. Well, I'll thank you all gentlemen for that. So on that optimistic note, we are playing that test match. As Rhythm says, he believes that maybe bulk of the pain is already in the price. Hopefully things recover from here on. T20 bhi thik lag raha hai. Nain, nain, what? Test match to hamesa se thik ta. You know, full balance ke raha You know, you know, on the test match, Manglam, on the on the day post the India-New Zealand test match, Manglam and me, we don't know how to start the show. Because we're such diehard cricket fans, so I hope when the boys go down, on under, the outcome is even better. Stay calm. But we are, we are still better than our neighbours who go and burn their houses. <laughs> I hope they don't. <laughs> you know, the, the overarching message out here is things are looking a lot better. Stay calm. On that note, what we'll do is ask you to stay calm for a bit. Come back after this short break and you will have all the interesting insights coming in from the Global Leadership Summit on CNBC TV 18. Thank you so much for watching. Take a break. Come back.